Hi guys and welcome to the Oklahoma Girls Kitchen. Well this episode is all about Halloween and I'm so excited about it because in the Oklahoma Girls Kitchen you don't get tricked, only treated. Today with special ghoulish goodies and devilish dishes. So let's get started on our first one which is going to be pumpkin cookies with cream cheese icing. Let's start. First ingredients, which is gonna be our dry ingredients. So we've got our flour, and I am just using a self-rising flour. So that means I don't have to add the salt and sodium and all that stuff. We're gonna use our pumpkin pie spice. That's what's gonna give it that great flavor. We've got our salt, and we're gonna mix this up really good together and then we're gonna start our wet ingredients. You know, pumpkin spice cookies have always been a favorite of mine. I used to make them when I was growing up a lot. Okay, now for our wet ingredients, we're gonna do our butter. You know, everything's better with butter. And we have got our white granulated sugar. And then we have got our brown sugar. I just love brown sugar. And we are gonna mix these up before we add our other ingredients. Okay, now we're gonna add our egg. And then we have got our pumpkin. This is just canned pumpkin. Not pumpkin pie filling, but canned pumpkin. Okay, now we're ready to give it a good mix. Get it all incorporated. Now we're ready to add our one teaspoon of vanilla in there. And you know a little more never hurts. Vanilla is just out of this world. We're gonna go ahead and mix this in. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this incorporated. I know by doing just a little bit at a time, you're not gonna get as much on you as you would if you did it on high and a lot at a time. I've been there and done that. Got a little smarter with age in cooking and baking. We're going to incorporate a little bit more flour, just a little bit at a time. We're almost there. Okay, so we're ready to start putting these on a cookie sheet. And I just put parchment paper on here. And these are gonna be some beautiful, beautiful pumpkin cookies. Okay, so while we've got our cookies going in the oven, we're gonna start our mummy pizzas. These are little pepperoni pizzas and they are just the cutest things ever. You can put on them whatever you want. And today I'm just gonna do pepperoni with some black olives and the uh, string cheese. So just kind of make them out as flat as you can. These are minis, so you have to remember that. Now we're gonna start with some sauce. This is just marinara sauce. 
and you don't really need too much. If you want a little bit more, I guess you can put more, but you know, we just want little minis. And then we're gonna put our little pepperonis on there. And we're gonna place these around. You could have more or less. You could even do these if you wanted to, like with hamburger meat or sausage. Aren't those just the cutest things? Now we're gonna go ahead and put our string cheese on. And this is what is gonna kinda of make this look like a mummy. And you just might have to kinda of work with it a little bit because you want them to go in all different directions like you're wrapping the mummy up. And we're just gonna kinda of place them. Doesn't matter if they're thick or thin. You just pull them to whatever consistency you want. So now we're going to go ahead and place him some little eyes right there. And these are just black olives. And he is ready to go on the baking dish. Just look at him. Is he not just adorable? There's one. And we've got a few more to go. So we've got our mummy pizzas ready to go in. And let's go get them in the oven. You know, these little guys are adorable and I can't wait to see them when they come out. Cutest faces ever. So on to our next thing. Okay, we're back to make our cream cheese icing, which is gonna go on our pumpkin cookies. They turned out phenomenal. I can't wait for you to see these when they're all said and done. But let's get started on this icing. This is just my cream cheese, my butter, my vanilla, and we're gonna pour in some powdered sugar. So we're gonna go ahead and pour in a little bit of it. And we're gonna get started mixing this really good and slow is the word. just want this nice and creamy to go on those beautiful pumpkin cookies. I just love that word pumpkin. I don't know why. It just makes me smile every time I say it. I don't know who thought of it, but I sure do like it. So let's go ahead and add a little more of the powdered sugar. and just quite fabulous. Now I think I can turn it up just a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna get our icing put on our beautiful pumpkin cookies. And I'm telling you, this is just so creamy and so good. I could just eat it by the spoonfuls. And I think, so I'm hoping there's some left because this girl is going to be getting a spoon out. And I'm going to be having myself a good time with this icing. Come on in, my little pretties, we've come to the time of making the witch's brew. This goes back hundreds of years in making this brew. I can't wait to show you what it's all about. We're first starting with something liquid. See that? Ooh. This is magical known to put a spell on a many a person, from what I understand. Next, we're going to add something called pineapple. Look at that. Ooh. And then something to make it a little greener, because we like green, the witches do. Now, now we're going to stir it around. Oh, look at 
at this. The magic has started. Yeah. Here we go. Now comes the ooey gooey, which is going to be the sherbet ice cream. Does it look pretty interesting to you? Because it looks very interesting to me. Okay, my little pretties. I'm going to see if this spell works the way it's supposed to. Shall we dip it up and see? Let's do it. suggest you get in your kitchen and make these. They're my very favorite. And until I see you next time here in the Oklahoma Girls Kitchen, I wish you a teaspoon of love and a heap full of happiness. <laughs> Goodbye, my little pretties. <laughs>